I am determined to make it a very productive day, nay, week. The past week and a half, I feel like I haven't really done anything useful. I expended a lot of time and money, had a blast, but I think we need to do a little bit more this week. So we're starting off by building a shoe rack. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Something that I failed to consider. I don't have a screwdriver. Let's see if we can do this without a screwdriver. We got the three tiers. <laughs> what do I do with these? Okay, maybe I should actually look at the instructions. <clears throat> oh! See, this is why you read the instructions. I don't need a screwdriver. It comes with a little tool. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let's go. Okay, this actually really hurts my fingers. <sighs> I can't do it anymore. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a good eight minutes, and I'm still on the first screw. I don't know why it's so hard. I'm just like trying to twist and turn it. This little tool sucks. Oh my gosh, I really can't do this. It's just too difficult to turn. I am so dumb. Do you wanna know why it was so difficult? I was going like this. Twist, twist. When I should have been going Like this. Twist, twist. Critical thinking skills has never been my strong suit. Um, okay, that's working a gazillion times better. <laughs> and this is why I need instructions for mac and cheese. The simplest thing, and I somehow can mess it up. The gasp that I just gasp. I don't know when this managed to happen. Look at that. Can you see it? There is a massive splinter in my finger. Okay, this is coming along swimmingly. I just need one more. We did it, guys. We did it. That that looks pretty good. I mean, for what, $20, $30 on Amazon? I'm pretty impressed, pretty pleased with this. It looks cute, I like it. I'll link it down below if you want to get this. It was pretty easy, despite the fact that I'm just a dum-dum. I figured it out. Let's get some shoes on this bad boy. Love it, amazing. I'm really happy with how that all turned out. It fits perfectly here. I think it works out well because it looks like it came with all of the other furniture a little bit with the light colored wood in here. I'm happy, now my shoes aren't just like all over my floor. So I just went to go check the mail because I'm expecting a package and I know it's illegal to open other people's mail but there's a mystery DVD in here and I'm gonna find out what it is. Hey, <laughs> um. Oh shit. I think this is a rental DVD company because it says open along edge. This is also your return envelope. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I already snipped it though. There's so much mail um, in our mailbox. That's none of ours. This place does like short term leases. So a lot of people have lived here and all of their mail is here. Last year at Marion Bad, Marion Bad, 1961. Never heard of it. Must be good though if he was willing to rent it out to his apartment. I just figured out how to customize my URL on YouTube because it was youtube.com forward slash Hannah Copic Love because I made that when I was 12. So now it's just Hannah Kim Johnson. Kim is my middle name. My name is not spelled H-A-N-A. -A. That was a nickname way of spelling it because in Japanese that means flower, which is like a nickname for me and like... There's already a Korean YouTuber named Hannah Kim spelled the way that I normally spell it. So that's why it's the way it is. Updated that. I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping now, but I also haven't eaten anything today and it's one, like not a single thing. So maybe I'll make lunch, then go grocery shopping. Catch you on the flip. Okay, we're heating this up in the microwave. Let's see how this goes. Trader Joe's microwave pasta taste test. It's okay. Definitely think it would have tasted better if I put it in the oven or wherever else you're supposed to do it. But uh, it does what it needs to do, I guess. I think we're gonna head out now. We're back. 
Time for another grocery haul. I went to Whole Foods this time. Just got a few things because I have actually no food in my fridge. Yep, just just cream cheese. That's the only thing. So I got some milk, chips and salsa, honey nut Cheerios, puffins. Never tried them, but uh, they look good. More bagels, bread, these little cheese it cracker things, butter, and two apples. I never I just got home. As you saw, I forgot my SD card. That was a real buzzkill, but I tried to film on my phone. Today I was supposed to have an eyelash extension appointment, but the girl canceled on me as I was just about to get there. It's actually the second time she had to reschedule. Uh, to be fair, her, her grandpa just barely passed, so I understand, but... A little bit sucky that I was just about to get there and then she canceled last second, but um, we rescheduled for Thursday. Hopefully it actually happens. My eyelashes are so janky right now. They're really, really messed up right now. So I ended up uh, just walking around in Dumbo. I, uh, not really, I just went to that one picture place with the bridge. And then I went to Soho and ended up in Aritzia. That always ends up happening. But to be fair, I had a gift card, so it needed to be spent. <laughs> So, that being said, it's time for a haul. My whole channel is just hauls, basically. One of the things I don't have to show because I was about to check out and then the whole hem of the bottom was undone and I was like, oh, uh, that's not supposed to happen. It was the only one in New York, period. They didn't have any in other locations, so she just ordered it and it's just gonna come to my apartment. But then I ended up getting a couple other things. So first, a little leather skirt. It's so short. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this, to be honest, but it's so cute. It's very cute and super soft. All of their like vegan leather material, they're so comfortable and so soft. And then I got some jeans, a goldie jeans. I love a goldie jeans. I have the 90s blue denim and I wear those all the time and I really wanted a black pair. I don't know if they have the exact same pair. These ones are very similar. So it has the distressing. Maybe it is the same. I don't know. Either way, they're very comfortable and they fit well. I don't know what happened to all of my socks. I think I just only packed half of them coming here because most of them had holes in them, but I don't have any socks. I got these, like two pairs will really make that big of a difference, but they didn't have bigger packs. And I just wanted to see if I would like them because they have the little grippies on the bottom, which I don't know if I'll like. So did a lot of damage, I need to be stopped. Like who told me, who told me I could come here? What was I thinking? I'm in like the shopping capital of the US. I think it is. New York, where else would it be? There's so much shopping here. Anyway, I'm gonna edit this video. My YouTube videos are quite meta because I feel like it's just like me showing myself making a video and then like editing it. So it's just like a weird, weird thing going on. I'll uh, update you when I do something more exciting. Okay, I'm about to leave, but I, I wanted to show you the outfit that I figured out. I put on a black turtleneck and the black jeans I bought today, very plain. But fear not, that's not the whole thing. Well, bam, cheetah print coat. It's very soft, super fuzzy. I thrifted this the other day. It didn't wash it yet, but desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. It's originally from Gap, but I got it just at a Buffalo Exchange. I gotta hurry and go. I'll see you there. <laughs>
I did it again. It's not a joke anymore. It's not funny. The movie Confessions of a Shopaholic, that is, that is my life story. It's based off of my life story. Step one is realizing. Step two is what? Wanting to change? I don't know if I'm there yet, but <laughs> for real, this is the last straw. I'm going to apply to jobs right after this, I swear. My family is probably disappointed. I'm disappointed. I, I really am. I have no self-control, but I have great taste. <laughs> Okay, hell time! We'll start with Urban Outfitters, because that's where I went first. First thing, this t-shirt. I'm a sucker for the oversized t-shirts that you could potentially wear without pants. This one, it's more just like a baggy t-shirt, so I'll wear pants with it, but... I just love the graphic. I, I love, like, fun, psychedelic-looking prints like this. And the color is maybe indigo or something, but I, I thought it was quite, quite a flattering color with my hair and everything. Um, so I got that. It's cute and comfortable. It's a vibe. Then I got a little mushroom. It's so cute! Look at it! Um, it's just to put a Polaroid picture in or just any sort of little paper or something. I just thought this was too cute not to get. Like, the room decor in here is going to be immaculate. I didn't think I would decorate. I actually quite like the way it looks in here. It's very simple and white comforter. That's how I would have decorated my own apartment anyway. But uh, it's a little bland and I wanted to make it more like homey and have more personality. So, mushroom. And I got these sunglasses. I've been wanting sunglasses like these for a long time. Just like big black ones with orange lenses. Like that's so fun. I love them. And then I just got a bunch of underwear because I had the 5 for 25 thing going on and I needed underwear. That's just a human right or it should be to have. So that one's fine. <laughs> Okay, this one was not necessary, but when you see it, I don't know if anyone could have passed this up. How cute is that? Puff, puff, pass. I, <laughs> I love it, okay? I, uh, Urban Outfitters just really knows how to market to the, the Gen Z. Oh my gosh, life is so much more fun with these on. I'm gonna keep these on. So much more happy. That is so cute. My brother actually made me a pillow that looks pretty similar to this. Same size and shape and it has the rug. He like made the rug part of the pillowcase. I don't have it with me, but I think somebody's gonna bring it to me a little later on. And this would just complement it perfectly so I couldn't pass it up. I love it. Come on, look at this. See, so much more personality in my room now. It was just boring and it looked like a hospital and now it's a cute Pinterest girl bedroom. Just by adding a little green fluffy pillow and a mushroom. So that was Urban Outfitters. And then I went to A-Land. Don't know if that's how you say it. It's a Korean store. Let's just say I really liked it there. It's basically a yes style because it didn't look like the most expensive or like most high quality of stuff, but it was like very trendy and cute. Kind of pricey for what it was, but I found some really cute things. I went a little crazy, but the Korean style, unmatched. It is just so good. And I feel like I just walked in that store and they got me. And so I walked out with several things. So the first thing is this skirt. I literally just bought a skirt yesterday. I might return one of them, you know? They are different materials. The other one's leather. This one's just like a stretchy fabric. Also, I noticed this with Asian brands, but everything there was one size. Luckily, they fit me, but um, yeah, that kind of sucks. This one is perfect. Look how cute that is. It's a little pleated schoolgirl tennis skirt, but it's not just a skirt. There are shorts built in, so that is incredible. I've been wanting a skirt like this for so long, but I didn't know what to get one. Now I can fulfill my Gossip Girl dreams. Okay, this one. Look how cool. That is so cute. It's a very thick baggy sweater vest. Honestly, very ill-fitting on me, but everything was one size, like I said. I feel like it works. Love that. Also was wanting a vest, sweater vest like that. So I got two. Um, this one's black but that's just a good basic piece that I could wear in several ways. And then the last thing is a little sweater and it just fit really well. I like that it's more cropped. That's everything that I bought. 
Again, spent way too much money. It's a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the world in orange colored glasses because why not? I'm going through a lot. <laughs> yeah, but for real, I'm gonna make some food and get on Indeed and look for jobs because I love spending money. I'm not gonna stop spending money, but I wanna stop feeling guilty about spending money because I am living like I just have a never ending fountain of money. I feel like the problem is I still think I'm on vacation and whenever I came to New York, I would ball out because they have such good stores here that I wouldn't have back at home. So I would save up and then just like blow it all. Fifth Ave, Soho, like just go to all my favorite stores. It's weird now cause I live here so Part of me feels like all the time like, oh, I would just want to eat this and this and this and buy this and this and this. But it's like, no, you have groceries at home. Go home and make your own food and stop shopping. I'm freezing my credit card. I meant like literally put it in water and then turn it into an ice cube and freeze it. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I need to apply to jobs. I will do that. I will do that tonight. If not tonight, tomorrow. One day at a time, baby. Fun fact that nobody cares about. When I was 18, 19, freshman in college. I was obsessed with indie and alternative music. I was super hipster kid, like hardcore, only thing I ever listened to. And then I went through a phase where I was like, F that, I don't wanna listen to that anymore. And I exclusively only listened to rap, which lasted like three years, the past three years. But then I started listening to indie music again because editing this video, I wanted it to feel more like a movie rather than just like a lifestyle vlog with the chill lo-fi beats or whatever. Cause I feel like that's just not doing it for me. So I'm, I'm trying to make this vlog a little more entertaining and movie-like and I would like for my vlogs going forward to be like a movie. Like I've always pretended that my life is a movie and so I'm gonna try to mimic that. <laughs> it makes life less depressing when I think that this is just a new season with different characters and a different plot, different setting. It really is. I feel like I've kind of come full circle now that I've enjoyed listening to indie music again because it started to bother me and I was like, Bleh. like so pretentious, but now I think I can appreciate it. And I feel like, I don't know, I, I really feel like it came full circle and I like kind of grew up. Not that listening to rap is juvenile. I love rap, but anyway, a penny for my thoughts. appointment was supposed to be at 9 and as I was getting there she texted and was like I'm gonna have to push it back to 10 30 which was an hour and a half later <sighs> I was just so annoyed because like I considered the travel time and like I'm pretty late to everything but I got there 10 minutes early and I'm like okay now I have to wait an hour and a half and do what nothing's open here so I was just walking around in the freezing cold I found a tiny little deli or like coffee shop but it was like really gross there was a weird homeless man it was just uncomfortable I was just so annoyed because at that point I wanted to find a different girl but if I canceled then I'd be charged the whole amount for the set that I didn't get. If I wanted to go find somebody else, everybody doesn't work over anyone else's lashes, so you have to do a removal. So then it's like, what's the point of spending all of this money to get a new set and time when I'm just gonna have to have it removed? So I told her, cause it was like a lose-lose situation. So I told her, I was like, I am going out of town later today and I'm crunched on time now that you moved it back an hour and a half. Can I just do the lash removal and do the set like another day, like next week? and I'm just gonna cancel it, and that way I won't have to pay for canceling. That's the plan, but I feel like that's fair because at this point, this is the third time I've tried to meet with her. Last time I was on my way there and she canceled on me, so I had to go back home, and then this time I had to wait an hour and a half. I'm over it. It's fine. So I called this other place that's a lot closer to my house or apartment and they can get me in today. So I'm just glad that it's all gonna work out. I just got back home. It's actually only 1230, which it feels like it should be like two or three, which is really nice. I should really get up earlier more often. I feel like I've been getting up at like 10. I have so much day left still, which is great. Look at my eyes. 
naked, no eyelashes. Let me tell you what happened. I told you that I asked Jess to do the lash removal and not the lashes. So I go in, she was really nice, cute girl. I liked her. Then I started to feel awkward and bad. And then I had to keep lying too, cause I was like, oh, I'm going out of town this weekend. So like, I don't have time to do the full set because we pushed it back an hour and a half cause you came in late. That is so unprofessional. I'm sorry, but like an hour and a half. And she texted me that 20 minutes before the appointment. If you're gonna charge somebody, if they're 10 minutes late, of course they're gonna be super punctual, but then it's like, okay, you're gonna charge me $20 if I'm 10 minutes late. But if you're an hour and a half late, I just have to sit here and wait for you and like plan my whole schedule around you. I was just so frustrated. So honestly, I don't feel that bad. I feel bad for her as a person cause she was sweet, but as a business to do your customer wrong three times like that like it's not right so anyway i'm like oh yeah i'm going home this weekend so we can schedule something like next week the lash removal was 20 dollars. i had to pay a 20 dollar deposit just to book the thing in the first place so that should have covered it but she was like oh it's 20 dollars, and then the other 20 dollars that you already paid will just go towards your next lash appointment or whatever and i guess i could have said actually i think i'm gonna find somebody else but i don't know if she would have tried to charge me for canceling the appointment today even though it was like her fault whole big thing anyway so i paid double what i should have and i tipped her because i felt bad terrible time right before i went into her studio i hurried and booked at another place because they said they could take me later today. So I sent in the Venmo deposit of like 40 bucks. When I got out of her place, when she took off my lashes, I go into the bathroom and I see a text saying, could you send it again? It didn't go through and we only do classic lashes. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I thought I could have done hybrid or volume, which is what I normally do. So luckily the payment didn't go through, otherwise that would have sucked. So then I call her back up and I'm like, Hey, my flight was delayed. Can I come back? Because <laughs> I really wanted eyelashes like soon because I don't like looking like naked. Um, and she was like, oh, I'm at the bank right now and I have somebody coming in two hours. I don't know if I'll be able to finish you in time. And I'm like, okay, no worries. Like my plans are all over. It's fine. This flight that doesn't even exist. She's like, what time? What time's your flight? And I'm like, oh, it's at eight. PM. She's like, oh, is it JetBlue? And I'm so dumb. I could have just been like, yeah, but I was like, oh, I don't remember which airline. I'm so dumb. Like lying is so cringe. I hate that I did that, but honestly, she got the better end of the stick. So that other one didn't go through and that one didn't work out. So I called a third place. They're, they're getting me in tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to have to block her on Instagram because she followed me for some reason and I don't want her to see this video. I'm so sorry if you're that girl. You're very sweet, but I, I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, that's all I've done today. Pretty much nothing. All right, I'm gonna go talk to you later. I said I was going to apply to jobs and I'm keeping my word. I'm not super applying to jobs today, but I just downloaded an app that lets you walk dogs or run errands, like pick up groceries. Just does a little side job. So I applied for that and now I need to watch the tutorial on everything I need to know. And honestly, I just really miss my dogs. So if I could have some dog interaction in my life, I feel like that would heal my soul a little bit. Okay, let's do this. On this video, I will show you how to use the affiliate's mobile app list of services that you need to approve or reject all information about the user or dog. Okay, I just finished the application for the dog walking app and now I'm eating mac and cheese. Cheers. The Trader Joe's Wisconsin mac and cheese sucks. No flavor, very bland. Okay, I've gotten ready. I'm going out dancing, I think, tonight. We're breaking out the Polaroid. Does this have any film in it? <laughs> I don't know how to use this. Huh? <gasps> oh, wait, I think that means it's full. Let me try. <gasps> it's pink! Yeah, I definitely took a picture. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll see how that turns out later. That's so cute, look at this, it's pink, I love that. I crimped my hair. 
Got the cute sweater vest. Black shirt under because it's going to be cold. I'll throw on this coat. See you later.